This demo will show you how to set up JFrog Artifactory and start using it in less than one minute. JFrog Artifactory is a universal artifact repository manager. It fully supports software packages created with any language or technology. It works with different build tools, CI servers, and packaging systems. After requesting an Artifactory license or as part of an upgrade notification, you will get an email from JFrog containing a link to a special bin tray page with Artifactory downloads. Let's start the Artifactory Pro standalone version download. This page is powered by JFrog Bintray, a modern, feature-rich distribution platform. For example, you can use Bintray to get notifications when new versions of Artifactory are released. After the download is complete, we'll extract the downloaded file. Now, let's start up Artifactory. First, just run the artifactory.bat file or the artifactory.sh file that's under the bin directory. And go! There are more ways to install and run Artifactory, RPM, Debian, Mac Homebrew, Docker Container, and more. Now that Artifactory is up and running, let's quickly set up the required configuration for our use. Let's open our browser to the Artifactory homepage. When first launched, the Artifactory setup wizard will pop up. This wizard will easily walk us through the setup process. The first step is to provide a license key. Simply paste it here. This can be either a trial or your permanent license. We will skip the password change and keep the original one. We will also skip the proxy configuration, which is used for advanced intranet configuration and can be revised later on if necessary. Now we can choose which types of repositories we'd like to set up. As a universal repository manager, JFrog Artifactory supports a great list of technologies out of the box. We will choose RPM only. And done! The setup wizard creates three RPM repositories in Artifactory. A local repository called RPM Local, where you can deploy and serve your own RPM packages. A remote repository called RPM Remote, which is useful for proxying other RPM repositories such as CentOS.org. And finally, a virtual repository, simply called RPM, which aggregates the other two repositories, allowing your client to work with an individual repository. You can also create additional remote RPM repositories using the repository's administration pages. Let's explore the Shiny user interface. Here you can see the list of repositories that we've just created, including useful information at your fingertips. Now it's time to configure the YUM client to work with Artifactory. For setting up your tools to work with Artifactory, the Set Me Up button is your best friend. The pop-up window gives you all the instructions and valuable configuration snippets. It's context sensitive and shows the relevant information based on the focus location in the tree browser. In order to use Artifactory as a source for RPM packages, we need to add it to the list of repositories. Let's copy and paste the snippet into the Artifactory repo file and select the right repository path to be included in the source list. We'll now replace the path to the repository folder with the selected folder from our RPM repository. We'll pick the 8664-bit repository for version 7 and paste it here. We can delete the command lines as we're not using signed packages in this demo. We'll now clear the local yum cache and update the yum client index to reflect the configuration changes that we've just made. Now that we've set up the repo file, let's install the Perl package. The package is resolved from Artifactory and successfully installed. Let's take a look at the Artifactory cache after the install. Here we can see the cached RPM file. It's time to put our local repository to work. 
let's deploy an RPM package to it. You can do this with curl or rest command, or by using the Artifactory UI. We'll use the user interface. After uploading the file, we'll provide the path for the package. We'll use a common layout for RPM packages. Once the file is deployed, we can see it in the local repository. Here are both the uploaded file and the metadata files, generated by Artifactory, including the repo-md XML file. Let's use the Set Me Up button again to configure the YUM client for retrieving RPM packages from the virtual repository. As you can see, the instructions are the same. We'll edit the Artifactory repo file once again and add the new repository to it. Let's rename the repository to prevent any conflicts. Since these are logical names, they can be changed. Now the Artifactory list file has two entries, the remote and the virtual repositories in Artifactory. Let's install our package. And the MySQL package was successfully installed from our RPM virtual repository. This concludes our RPM setup screencast. Did you know that JFrog Artifactory supports all major package formats, CI servers, and build tools, so you can use it in almost any ecosystem you have set up? If you're not using Artifactory yet, visit the JFrog website to download your free JFrog Artifactory Enterprise trial today.